Yeah. We back again. Tron and Kimberly. Moses. Welcome to Team Moses Vlogs. Will you watch us do life and enjoy marriage on our journey? I love you, you love me. I love you, you love me. I got your back, baby. I got your back, baby. I love you, you love me. I love you, you love me. Today it is like raining out and we are going to go do some laundry. <laughs> so yeah, so that's why I got this hoodie on my hair just pretty much everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. How y'all doing today? Are y'all morning starting off right? I eat breakfast yet. Yeah. I'm gonna eat breakfast when I get back home. Slice up two bananas. Cause Pumpkin bought four bananas. I ate one, she had, what, half one, you ate that one? Half one. And she gonna let them go back, cause you know bananas don't like, ain't gonna last long. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is we get back to the house, I'm slicing up two bananas, and throw them in the cereal. Yeah, I, I, I thought I could eat bananas, but I can't. Every time I try to eat, I just get so nauseous. Like, I be trying, like, I just don't like the texture. I used to eat them as a kid and everything, but now it's like a textural thing for me. I, I just, love bananas. I can't do it. So I'm trying, I tried, I tried, cause I've been having like stomach cramps. And I remember as a kid, my mother took me to the doctor because I was skin and bones, like you can see my ribs. That's how skinny I was. I and uh, the doctor's like, well, she just needs some potassium. So tell her to eat some bananas. So I remember I ate bananas and it went away, the cramps. So it was starting to try to come back. I said, the devil is a liar. So I was like, let me go get some bananas. I couldn't even eat it. So I'm just gonna have to take some vitamins, pop some multivitamins. I, I cannot have no crampy stomach. I don't know what this is, but yeah. But anywho. <laughs> What's up, team? Y'all know what time it is. It's dinner time. Brother hungry. Hungry like three people. Tonight we're having fish, rice, and vegetables. Yeah. What's that now? What's that? I didn't see that. I was a bit more. I just didn't want to hold on the plate. Really? Yeah, this fish is really dry. Honey, honey piece right here. Oops, I didn't mean to flip it, but. Oh, it's in this my plate. Hey, team. So it's been a busy day for me. Has it? I'm trying to, yep. Went, did some laundry, then had to go meet my mom's teacher. And I met both of his teachers, and they both were really nice. Yeah, they both were really, really nice. And they said that he is doing excellent in school. So that, that's a blessing, you know. Um, he made A, B, on a roof. Yeah, then the teacher stopped me, the assistant principal. She stopped me in the school and she told me how much, you know, my she enjoyed my kids, my children are good, 
Mariah got to see her old teachers. I feel so blessed. So both my kids are doing great in school. So I just give God praise for that. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. So yeah. This is just leftover onions and sauce from last night. I think I ate all the tofu out of it. So I'm just hooking him up. He's going to get vegetables as well. Yeah, I didn't want my sauce to go to waste. So I'm using my leftover sauce. I'm going to take my food and come over here to the table. Gotta get my cup. Gotta get my sippy cup. Where I mix some raspberry lemonade and something else together. Tastes delicious. Anyway, Tim, we can get back up with y'all. I'm about to chomp down. Sup, team. I am coming from my favorite store. And if y'all been rolling with us a minute, y'all know what that is. Wally World. Yes, I love Walmart. I could stay at Walmart. I could stay at Walmart and Barnes and Nobles and Best Buy. I could do three hours straight. I have done three hours, three or four hours at Best Buy. I mean, Barnes and Nobles. When I was studying photography, still studying photography. I mean, it never stops. You're still learning. But uh, just like anything else, you're still learning. Um, I would go in there and stand there for hours. And then other photographers, new photographers would come along, like in the town I was living in there, and they would keep asking me stuff and asking me stuff. And my advice to them was, go to Barnes and Nobles. Watch YouTube. You know, at Barnes and Nobles, it ain't like the books cost a lot. I bought some high priced books, but it ain't like you gotta buy the books. I mean, you stand there and read it. Take your phone out, take a picture of it. Take a picture of what you're trying to learn. But people didn't want to, they didn't want to read. They'd rather have asked me. You know, I ain't have nobody to ask. How, how you do this? How you do that? So what I did was, I ain't have nobody local to ask. So what I did was, I get on YouTube, I go to Barnes and Nobles and stand there for hours. Can I tell y'all something? It was a long time before I ever sat down at Barnes and Nobles. I would see other people sitting down, and I would, I would just stand there and read the book in the aisle. Read books in the aisle. Yeah. It was a long time before I sat down. Pickle. My pickle turkey. Mmm. Delicious. What's that, baby? Beans and rice. Don't play with me, Mom. Y'all look a hot mess, you guys. A real hot, hot mess. My hair's sticking all up. Just one of those lazy days, you know? Don't feel like doing nothing. One of those lazy days, yeah. And I'm just writing my book, trying to finish this book. It's taking me longer than usual. I had so many distractions. But uh, I'm gonna write this book, finish this book. And I'm writing a book too. 
just, how to find your spouse. Amen. I'm just doing ministry work today. It's a guy put a lot on my heart to do. I'm joking. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just gonna just work with the ministry. I look a hot mess. Get this camera so close out of my face. The team has seen you all kind of ways. Team, y'all been rolling with us any amount of time. Y'all seen her all kind of ways. So anyway, team, pumpkin wanted some Twix. So now we got M&M's, we got Snickers, we yeah, got, she going, look, this going to be my M&M's. This is going to be hers, that straight up chocolate. No, I like nuts. No, no nuts, baby. Milky yeah. Way. My favorite M&M's are the ones with the nuts. Peanuts, yeah. First of all, I ain't overdid it. This was $4. The Twix and stuff I started to get her was a little more than this with less. And it was the mini, I mean, this is mini too, but it was smaller than this. It was smaller than this stuff. You so guys, it's hot for November, I'm hot. So anyway, team, y'all guys know we love y'all. Y'all know we love y'all, right? Let me try, let me see, is there anything that I want to tell y'all before we go? Mm. Did you tell them, did you ever tell the team about the conference? Uh, you can talk about it. It's better to hear from you, not the host. Why? Why? Because it's like I'm boasting on what God did. I want someone else to, witness, to bear witness. I was really trying to get her cheek team. I wasn't trying to kiss her lips in front of y'all. You know? <laughs> anyway, the conference, the conference was awesome. God really moved in there. It started, what time it started? Around 9 or something? Yeah, 9 in the morning. Um, we ended around? 10 at night. 10 at night. I enjoyed the whole day. Yeah, so God really moved team. And people came from different places. People came from Virginia. People came from Florida, New York, New York, uh, <laughs> Philadelphia. People came from different places. It was a mighty move. God performed miracles. People got healed. Um, let me show y'all a picture right now. This one girl, she God performed a miracle. Her legs stretched out. Telling the story behind that before, before the, uh, before you called the girl what God said. All right, during worship, like we had three services. So the third service, I didn't have a word. I'm like, okay, God, I need something. What I'm supposed to say when I get up? He said, you're not supposed to preach. You're not going to preach. I'm like, okay. So during the worship, I heard the Lord speak to me. He said, I'm giving you a miracle mantle. And there's someone here whose leg is shorter than the other leg, and I want you to grow it out. And then immediately I went into like a short vision, and I saw what I was supposed to do, which I was supposed to sit her back in a chair and measure her legs and command it to grow. So I saw that in spirit, and that's what I did. I got up, and I told him, I said, yo, you guys, you know, you know, I'm goofy. When I get, when a guy gets on me, I get so high and goofy. I was like, I never heard this word before, so I'm stepping out in faith. Yo, I just heard God say that he dropped a miracle mantle on me and I felt it come upon me when it when it came. I really felt heavy on my my shoulders. And I said, someone here, leg is shorter than the other. And then I began to just call it out and a girl stepped forward and she was young. And I was shocked. I was like, what? Because I'm thinking in my mind, this is an older lady. But it was a, a young a young young lady around I think she's in her third or you know, thirties. And um God grew her leg out. So everybody was shocked. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to show y'all some pictures of that. So it was, it was a powerful conference, y'all. Yeah, people. Y'all should have came. Yeah, people still talking about it. They said one woman, a guy, she said, "Prophet, that you imparted the fire of God in me in my life." She said she can't stop praying, she can't stop fasting. People are still high. People are saying, "What's the next one?" I'm like, Lord, you mm -hmm. know, we we trying to <laughs> get over this one. 
you know, I'm still high about what God has done, but I ain't gonna do another one until God tell me to do another one. Yeah. I need him there. I need him to move like he did, and even in a greater measure, in a greater way. So, yeah. Yeah, team, I took I took pictures of the event. He caught the beautiful I, moments. He yeah, caught I had to them. put my camera down and worship, too. Amen. Oh, team, man, we had a special guest. Now, I took pictures of everybody there, <laughs> mm -hmm. except the special guest now. <laughs> not on purpose, though. That's just that's just the way it happened. I did not take pictures of the special guest. We had a witch there. Now, at first, I heard my um, I heard my sister, my sister, and, uh, her friend. They was watching this lady. Now, I didn't know she was a witch, but they was watching this lady. I guess some suspicious stuff. And then I heard her praying. She was praying over the area, Florence, South Carolina, two nine five one zero. I didn't even know the area code. <laughs> I didn't even know the zip code. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, um, so at the end of the service. When uh, a lot of people was leaving, she was walking by me, and then she started talking to me. And, and I was standing there talking to somebody else, and then she just she just took over, and she made sure she, I couldn't talk to nobody else. She was talking to me. And then so I said, because I don't want to go with nobody else, and when somebody says somebody a witch, I don't want to go with nobody else on that. I want to know for myself. So while she was talking, I said, I was saying, I was saying to the Lord, I said, God, is this a witch? And then guess what she said to me? She started telling me her family is in the witchcraft. Now, she ain't admit to being in witchcraft, but I don't believe in coincidences. The Lord revealed it out of her mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she started talking about her. And she told Punkin, Punk, didn't she tell you? She, she territorial, right? Yeah, she kept saying, it's territorial here, it's territorial. And then her whole spirit was <laughs> off. Like, I believe the Lord, he kind of hid it from me at the moment, but I knew something went right about her, but he didn't want me to get distracted on her like the enemy will cause a distraction he wanted me to focus on him to press in to see what he was going to do and it was crazy when i was up praying um i was seeing walls being placed in front of me in the spirit so i began to rebuke it and rebuke it and i prayed so i saw a lift and then we went to the we shifted to the next portion of the service but it was crazy but a lot of people said it was a witch and one of my speakers she um said after she talked to that lady that lady rolled her eyes at her and something heavy came upon her and it was, it was it, the whole thing was crazy but god still moved amen mm -hmm. and that's we're not awesome. supposed to be afraid of witches you know that's just a validation of you know we are on the enemy's hit list and that god is doing something powerful <laughs> god is doing something po god is doing something powerful mm -hmm. amen yes so it was awesome so next year team we want y'all to be there. Yes. We want y'all to be there. And there was a lot of resistance, a lot of warfare. But when the warfare is intense like that, don't back down. Hey Amen. That's to say, hey, I'm pressing to get what God has for me. And the people that came, they said it was life-changing. But look, we're going to catch y'all. Oh, look. Now, if you want to see that video, tell them, Funky. I'll let you tell them. If yes. you want to see the videos from the conference. Yes, you can uh, live We can, uh, it's not live stream, but you can catch the replays. And man, for a donation of $20, go to uh, Cash App, Prophetess Kim. Cash App, excuse me. Go to Cash App, dollar sign, Prophetess Kim. Or to my website, prophetessk.org. Donate $20 and comment uh, conference or video or something. Conference video. And then we will add you to our secret Periscope group. And you can see the replays. And it will bless you guys. All right, so that's it for us. We'll catch you on the next one. We love y'all. Deuces. I love you. You love me. I love you. You love me. I got your back, baby. I got your back. You love